XDR is a holistic detection and response solution that goes beyond the endpoint to remove silos of visibilities. It leverages on advanced analytics like artificial intelligence and big data analytics as well as Trend Micro's extensive smart protection network to provide more detections and faster response. Unlike the endpoint detection and response, XDR doesn't focus on endpoint detection alone. Instead, it enables security analysts to detect, investigate, and respond to threats across multiple vectors including that of email, server, cloud workloads, and network layers. A component of XDR capable of integrating with the endpoint security layer is Apex One Endpoint Security. From our previous videos, we have successfully registered Apex One as a service to Trend Micro XDR. If you haven't done any of the earlier mentioned steps, please check out our previous episodes before proceeding. For this guide, we will be showing you how to test if Apex One as a service sends detection information to Trend Micro XDR by triggering a predictive machine learning detection using a test file called TRX Detect. If you wish to follow along the steps shown in this guide, you'll need to get a copy of this file from your XDR or Apex One trainers. Trend Micro Apex One as a Service provides advanced automated threat detection and response against a growing variety of threats. One such technology used by Apex One is predictive machine learning. With this technology, Apex One can correlate threat information and perform in depth analysis on unclassified suspicious files to detect unknown security risks. Once the data is collected, Trend Micro XDR analyzes the activity data collected by Apex One to provide intelligent detection correlation. First, we need to make sure that the policy for predicted machine learning is properly set. To do this, open the Apex One as a Service web console. On the main menu, click on the Policies drop down menu, then select Policy Management. Select any policy that you've created. Then on the left panel, select Predicted Machine Learning. Under Detection Settings, make sure that for both file and process types, the action is set to log only. Since our goal is for Trend Micro XDR to analyze if the detection is an unknown threat, we need to make sure that Apex One Security Agent doesn't take action on the detected file. Click on the Deploy button at the bottom to deploy these settings to your endpoints. Once your Apex One security agents have updated their policies, we can now trigger the detection for predictive machine learning. To trigger the detection, download the test file into a folder and extract the contents of the file on the same folder. One of the files should produce a machine learning detection on this endpoint. Click on the notification to open the logs window. The detection should say log only under the result. The information about the detection on the endpoint is submitted to both the Apex One server and Trend Micro XDR. Let's go check the information sent to Trend Micro XDR. Log in to the Customer Licensing Portal. On the list of products, click on the Open Console link for Trend Micro XDR. This opens up Trend Micro XDR's Management Console. On the left panel, click on the Workbench icon. This displays the events sent from all registered Trend Micro products, including Apex One as a service. Events are usually sent to the Trend Micro XDR data lake every five minutes, so just in case the predictive machine learning alert we've triggered hasn't shown up yet, wait for a few minutes and refresh the page. Once the event is available, click on the corresponding Workbench ID. Since we are testing Apex One's predictive machine learning detection, select the Workbench ID beside the machine learning malware detection model. This opens the summary for this triggered event, the summary highlights where the file was detected, the impact scope of the detection, as well as the file's hash and path. With this demo, we have tested the connection between Apex One as a service and Trend Micro XDR by triggering a predictive machine learning detection. In the upcoming episodes, we will be performing other tests by triggering other events from the endpoint and checking how Trend Micro XDR uses those information, so be sure to check those out. I hope this has been informative for you. 
Thank you for watching and see you in the next Trend Micro XDR guide.